All right, welcome back to some more 13 Sentinels, guys. So, currently, I decided to try once more Remembrance and continue on with the story through the eyes of the many characters we're going to be playing through. So, right now, we're continuing on through, if I believe it's Megumi. So, with that said, guys, I hope you all continue to enjoy watching, and let's keep it rolling. All right, guys, we're continuing once more with Megumi Yakushiji's story. <sighs> I'm back. Oh. Why so tense? It's your house. Take a load off. <sighs> Ignoring me, huh? You must think you're so cool. People notice you're always alone, you know. <sighs> Come on, you're always so sensitive. A real high maintenance girl, aren't you? I was trying to say that you're smart. Friends are pointless. They'll all be toast once the end comes. Being alone is the most logical solution. Must be nice. You really are an unpleasant cat. <laughs> be honest. You know you like me. The first time you saw me, you were all fluffy, fluffy. Chasing me around with that dumb look on your face. That, that's not true. Can we kick this cat out? Like, what do we have here? So, what did you think about your first time? <sighs> did you already forget? You know, with the gun and you shooting Renya Goto. Don't say it like that. Don't go all gooey on the inside now. Come on, you can tell me. What was it like? Shooting that pale, arrogant prick. It felt great, didn't it? This cat's got like some arrogant problems right now. <laughs> My first task after agreeing to the contract. The first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. Alright, we're gonna remember this right now. Alright, whenever you're ready. If you're ready, that is. Easy for you to say. But actually pointing a gun at someone is just... It's not just a gun, it's a magical gun. Or would you rather it be a magical kitchen knife? I don't want that. <laughs> you add magical to anything that ends with a weapon, it's not, ne it's not necessarily magical at all. You extinguish the evil in the person you shoot. Or if they could, they'd thank you for saving them. Still... Ready or not, here he comes. Hmm. The BS is real with this cat. Yakushiji. It was quite unexpected of you to ask for me. What do you need? Um, well... I just wanted to see how things were going. You didn't need to call me out here to do that. Why didn't you just come to the hangar? I, um, don't really like looking at that robot too much. I see. Anyway, we need a password to remove the infection. But it has yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right now, You'd likely end up in the same state as Juro. You don't say. Oh, all right. This is insane. I can't just shoot someone. Let alone, let alone listening to a cat telling you to shoot someone to begin with, too. Anyway, we need to put it as yet. If you got in the Sentinel right now, you'd likely end up in... 
You don't. Right, let's walk away. Dumbass! Don't look over here. <sighs> Just shoot him already, idiot. I figured there'd be a branching path where I shoot him or I don't shoot him. This is insane. I can't just sh Don't worry. We'll and if you don't... Then we fight with the Sentinels as they are. We couldn't possibly win like that. Maybe so, but we cannot do nothing. At least Juro has not lost his ability to fight. <sighs> Are we ready now to shoot him? I won't let him hurt Juro again. I have a better idea. <sighs> oh no! What have I done? You shot him in the arm. That'll do. Are you sure he's not hurt? Yeah, yeah, he'll just be a little loopy. How am I supposed to face him after this? It's called a magical gun for a reason, numbnuts. His memories of before and after being shot will be all fuzzy. He won't even remember coming to meet you. Well, we should probably make ourselves scarce now. Wait! The stuff this cat makes her do, man. I don't know anymore. I only did what you asked me to do. What I asked you to do? You shot him in the arm from point blank range. I didn't ask you to pull off a stunt like that. But as long as it was on some part of his body, it shouldn't matter where I hit him, right? Oh, maybe I chose the wrong person. This one's got no sense of ownership. Your future's looking pretty bleak, kid. Now, what happens when I choose the channel? I'll turn it off. Listen, this isn't some idiot child's errand. We have a contract. Do I need to say it slowly for you? I'll grant your wish. And in exchange, you shoot the witches I tell you to. That was the deal. All you gotta do is shoot them. I don't care where. But if you fail, our contract is broken. Shouldn't you have already made up your mind about this? Yes. I have. Oh. That reminds me. I have to walk to you too. Make sure the gun is loaded before you use it again. It's still in your bag, right? Well, go on then. Let's see the magical gun. This gun. Is it really magical? <laughs> no. Doesn't look it. You do see how tall I am, right? Put it on the floor. Still has enough magical bullets. Good, good. You never know when you might need to use this. So always make sure it's loaded. You keep calling this thing magical. So why does it have to be a gun? What does it matter? You'd rather it be a sparkly magical wand? 
What? You want to put on a frilly pink skirt? And wave around your magic stick like some idiot? <laughs> All right. You made your point. It's for you to shoot witches. That's why it's a gun. Ah, oh, hell. He's coming. Well, time's up. We'll discuss the next witch tomorrow. Meet me at school. Juro! Oh, hey, Yokoshiji. Man, movie's still not on. More extra innings. That was so cool. I liked how he just walked up on his own, watched TV. Sure. That's pretty neat. And now some of our uh, fellow classmates are following, and this cat's still here. I thought we agreed not to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving at different times. A meeting like this defeats the purpose. Should we start going together then? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi-kun. Morning. <sighs> hmm? What's oh. up? Oh, uh, it, it's nothing. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously kidding. I'm jamming to rock, of course. Oh. Well, your grades are always so good. It seemed believable. <laughs> you think so? I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. Oh, right. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. Okay. I'll see you after school. So there's no real branching paths yet. So? I haven't spotted the witch yet. I'll keep a lookout. Meet me after school. In the passageway outside the old building. Got that? Wow, I'll say her story is the longest so far. Oh, and before I do that... Okay, there doesn't seem to be any branching paths at the moment, so... I have to go. Fluffy's waiting for me. That's <laughs> still his name, too. Fluffy. Nobody here. Why are you hiding? Here, kitty kitty. The hell are you doing? Apparently looking for you. Huh? But you were just over there. All right, crazy. Come on, it's time to work. Or maybe it's another time. Yep, probably another time. Uh, what you call time loop? The next witch is inside the old building. He's a boy with short hair, and is wearing a school uniform with no buttons. 
So I just shoot him and his powers will be sealed, right? Uh-huh. Now, there could be one small hiccup. He's got a very not-magical gun, and he might use it on you. That seems like a pretty big hiccup to me. Well, in case you've never been shot before, it hurts. So... Oh. Yeah, this cat's a big jerk. Alright, here we go. I wouldn't think about it right now. Our goal is to actually get the shot first before we get shot. <sighs> Not here. I'll say it again. The animation for this game is incredible. You didn't have to feel the need to go inside. Like, the windows are right there for you to peek through. I wonder... If I were to die... Would Juro even cry for me? Current Juro, ah... Uh, it's a toss-up. The one you knew, however, definitely. There's still no branching path, so... Don't... Don't worry He's about He's not yet. here. Did he leave? There's no one here. Maybe he made a mistake. <laughs> Stomping around with your gun out like that? You're not sneaking up on anyone that way. Uh-oh. So you've been hiding. You're from Sector 3. <gasps> you're from back then. So you're the one. You're one of Juro's friends. What are you doing here? It doesn't concern you. I don't think this was your idea. Who are you being used by? I'm fine with being used. If it's for Juro, I'll do whatever I have to. Wait! Juro, where are you? The last place the Sentinel was seen. It should be somewhere nearby. I'll tell you right now, the whole flipping through present time and future is just confusing me. <laughs>
Megumi. I'm so glad... you're still alive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't protect your city. Shh. It doesn't matter. I was so worried about you. <sighs> right. I'll go find help. There doesn't seem to be anyone around, but... They have to still be here somewhere. That's what you said. I just have to find them. Wait... Jiro? <sighs> Wait... Please... Don't go. But Jiro... You're hurt. We need to get help. <sighs> I need you... to stay. Please. Everything's so dark. I can't see your face. Why? Why did you get in that sentinel? You knew this is what would happen. No. I wanted to protect what was important to you. I wanted to Protect... you. Juro! <sighs> For one sentinel to do all this? Unbelievable. The moment you enter the Sentinel, you inflict irreversible damage to your brain. Your memory is destroyed. In worst case, you become a husk. <gasps> Just being inside for a few minutes can be fatal. Izumi endured that pain. He fought in there for over two hours. He displayed incredible strength, but... You understand, don't you? It's too late for him. Are you from the future, too? There was a time I fought alongside him. So you're one of his comrades, and yet you won't even try. Please, there must be something you can do. Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. Alright, so we made 28% progress. It seemed like we made more, if only because I felt like we were already reaching, like... Even though we just started, the way the scenes played out made it seem like we were already reaching her end of her story. But, I guess that's not the case. Oh, now we have to unlock... Unseal 6 mystery files, currently at 2. Okay. That's crazy. Alright then, I'll end the video here for today guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, until the next one.